Mesh Tsukar, and Syrian Canadian clarinet player. Today I am so happy to be here with you celebrating the coming of the spring, or as we say in the Middle East, no rose. Uh, it's so special for me today for one reason. I'm not gonna play my instrument, I'm gonna sing. And I'm not gonna sing like usual in Arabic. I do speak Arabic, but I decided to sing in Syriac, which is my mother, mother, mother tongue, and it's my grandfather's language. If you don't know, Syriac is the language of Syrian people who used to live between the two big rivers, or as we say it now, it's the old Iraq and old Syria. Through history, there is a big civilization was built there between the two big rivers, Euphrates and Tigris, or as we say, Bith Nahr, or in Arabic, Bain and Nahrin. And this language, it's a modern version of Aramaic, which is the language of Jesus Christ. So the whole area was speaking this language as a formal language. Uh, I'm going to sing a song for you talking about the spring and the celebration of the spring and how is the people acting when they when they feeling like the spring is coming and how the animal is playing on the grass and how is the sparrow singing on the trees and how is the people gathering on the side of the rivers sharing the happiness and in the end they thanks the creator for his great gift. I hope you're gonna enjoy that. And I'm gonna use this old, old instrument called the Duke, which is Armenian. And it's mixed now. Uh, this is the Duke, the body of the Duke, and now we have the mouthpiece of the clarinet. So it's give us some unique sound and beautiful tone. So musically speaking, I'm gonna use some old Middle Eastern scales, which we call it the uh, Bayat, or in the Syrian language we call it Baya, which is mean happiness. They use to sing the happy songs on this scale. And these all the music, it's the core of the modern Middle Eastern music that I used to play in this um, spot of the world. So I'm gonna do a music improvisation, then I'm gonna sing this beautiful song for you. And it means a lot to me because my grandfather taught it to me 15 years ago. And I never think, I never think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing this song for someone. But I remember his words. He said, learn this song and learn our language and don't let it die. Thanks for watching. I hope you're going to love it.